All right, what is up everybody? In today's video, I get on some insane action. I catch the biggest peacock I've caught personally, the biggest snakehead I've ever caught. And honestly guys, I have not fished South Florida that much, but still they're the biggest I've caught. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go, guys, on that little crappie jig. Beautiful colors on that guy. Go ahead and get him back in the water quick. There he goes. There he goes. Another one, dude. This one's smaller. Oh, dude, that was so cool. Ah, oh, another one I snagged. Snagged this guy. There we go. Hold them like that. There we go, guys. So I'd say for my first day of ever using a um, bait caster, I don't think I'm doing too bad. I got one bird's nest, but I was able to get it out. And I was really happy about that. It wasn't a bad one. But if you guys say I'm like probably holding it weird or whatever, like, it's my first time ever having a bait caster. Usually what I'll do is I'll drive down here. It's like a three hour drive. And I'll drive down here to go fishing, but I decided to get, book a little room tonight. That way I can fish out here early in the morning too. I'm gonna start making my way back to the truck. All right, guys, so I made it to my room. This is going to be a two day video. So this is the end of for today. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Feel me. All right, good morning, guys. I just stopped at this roadside ditch on my way to my first spot where I'm gonna be fishing. That is a beautiful peacock bass. Look at 
go ahead and get her back in the water. There we go. As soon as I turn the camera off, Look at that fish. Dude, this is a big snake hit. Oh boy. Okay. I don't have them yet, I don't have them yet. Dude, this water's crystal clear. Oh. I just had some lady ask me if I if you can if you can even catch fish in this water. It's like I don't know if you guys can see. This water's crystal clear. You can see like straight out to the middle of this area. And some lady came by and asked me if you can catch fish in here. And I was like, I don't know. And, and then she left. And I, I catch this dude. Hold on. Dude, this is a big snake head. All right. All right, guys. This right here is a stud of a snake head. Definitely my personal best right here. I've only been fishing down here about three or four times, so it's not like I've had much of a chance to get on some big snakeheads. But this dude right here, in crystal clear water, just came straight from underneath a little piece of shrub and just annihilated this little ribbit toad. I'm sorry, that's not a ribbit toad, that's the zoom horny toad. But still, what a fish, guys, what a fish. Definitely worth the trip down here. Guys, that's not a big one, but I watched him follow that for like maybe five, ten foot before he popped it. Oh, come on! No! Two point one three. Not too bad. Oh. Here we go, guys. Another nice snake. All right, five one guys. That's a five pound snake right there. Not bad. There we go. There we go. Another nice peacock. Oh, that's a nice peacock.
there we go guys that right there is a stud male peacock look at the hump on this guy No! Dude, that was a monster! Redemption, guys. Redemption. Came here yesterday and lost one. Alright. Batteries. I need batteries. But, okay. I need batteries so I can't weigh them. But look at that, guys. That is a nice snakehead right there. I wish I was recording when he blew up on it. He, they literally hit as soon as you stop recording. Oh, he's pooping all over the place. Oh, gross. So, it's getting late. I've been down here in South Florida for two days and I've gotten on some serious action i've missed a lot of snakehead uh, i'm not going to put every single one of those in the videos because that would make it way too long if i put every single time i missed a fish in but i just want to go ahead and say thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see more content like this go ahead and like subscribe until next time guys Well...